हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस हाउ टू रिकवर डिलीटेड टेबल इन सर्विस नाउ समटाइम्स बाय मिस्टेकली वी डिलीट द सम कस्टम टेबल सो हाउ वी कैन रिकवर इट दैट विल सी टुडे सो फॉर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस विल टेक वन यूज केस एंड यूज केस इज दैट क्रिएट वन टेबल दे आर नेम्ड प्रोजेक्ट डिटेल्स विथ आई डी नेम प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर एंड लोकेशन फील्ड्स एंड एज्यूम बाय मिस्टेकली इट गॉट डिलीटेड so try to recover it so let's go to the instance firstly we'll create this table then we'll delete it and then try to recover it so let's go to the instance yes and here firstly create this table right so go to the tables and under system tables or system definition i think yes under system definition tables will be there click on this tables the click on new yeah and here this click just write project details click on new you know not new click on name so its name will be auto populated and here the label so firstly the project id so click on project id and their type will be the integer this is now the second field will be the project name the their type will be the string the third field will be the project manager their type also string fourth field will the location and their field i'll take for the temporarily i'll take as a string however we know that one location table of this existed but we are not taking just save it now click on duplicate tab and we'll see that how what the table looks like so just search project details yes so we'll try to create one record as well the project manager name will be the um, let's say michael the project name will be the let's say unicorn and location will be the amsterdam and project id will be the let's say 1 2 3 4 and click on submit so you will see that one record also got created now what we'll do we'll delete this table so let's click on right here delete is click on okay so now you will see that uh, table got deleted so if you refresh here also so you will you won't able to find this table right so now how to recover it so for recovering this table will go on uh, in one table their name is sys underscore meta data underscore delete dot list yes so you will see here what table is there right so in table name if you search there is something called table in table name if you see there is something called table and there is a project details i just click on this record and now click on restore file and click okay after restoration you will see our table got restored right so it's completely 100% restored now we just search you'll see this our table got restored right but if you see here 
in filter navigator we won't able to find this table right why because we have restored only table but we have not restored their modules right so then we'll again go to the sys metadata underscore delete dot list and here you will see this module is there project details module is there so just click on ok click on restore file then click on ok yes so now we'll check whether our module is visible or not because we see in this meta delete to a table there are two record related to module are there so i think one more need to restore it right so let's go back yeah one more is there so that we need to restore it also after restoring this record we will able to search our project detail table from the filter navigator as well so that also got restored now if we refresh this page see now we are able to search from the filter navigator as well right so from this table like let's say not about the table also sometimes what happened you by mistakenly deleted some field also so that particular field also you can restore from the sys metadata sys underscore metadata underscore delete table from there you can recover the particular field also if you delete some particular acls also that you can also restore it from there now now the second question you will ask like we have create one record as well but that is not showing here why so it will it's not showing because we have not enabled the auditing for this table so if we enable the auditing for this table that time we are able to recover the records as well so i will show you how to enable the auditing for this table so let's go to the configure then go to the dictionary and if you see the first record where the type is collection you will see one field is there audit right so once you make it as true now whatever the record you created with project detail table and if you by mistakenly got deleted that record also we can recover it so i'll show you so let's create one record and this time i'll take the name david and the project name let's say i'll take airtel and the project location will be mm, pune and the project id will be mm, 4321 and submit it i will create one more record also let's say this time our the project manager will be mm, mm, let's say john and the project name will be the um, let's say the project manager will be what we can take we'll take something else like x y z and the location and then location will be the um, let's say us and the project id will be the three four five six so like the two records we have created and let's say we have deleted these two records by mistakenly so we have deleted it right yes now it's deleted but uh, but it because we know like we have enabled the auditing for this table so we can easily recover the records of this table so how will we recover we'll go to the deleted records and just 
refresh you will see two records are here right so just open one of the record and we'll recover it so from one video you will get two learnings like one how to recover the table and second how to recover the records as well so one one record is recovered one more record is there that also we can recover it just open that record click on undelete with related and click on yes and click on ok yes so let me refresh this page and go to the project details and previously we will see that there is no record in project detail table because we have we have created two records we have deleted it. so now we have reco recovered it from the deleted records and we will go to the project details again we will see both of the records recovered so i hope you got it like how what is the, the complete process to recover the table as well as their record as well remember this thing like if you want to recover the records of any table make sure their audit audit is enabled without without if audit is not enabled you won't able to recover the record however some other process is there then then you have to go to the service now like you have to raise one high ticket and then from there from service now side they will recover the record but if you enable the audit then you can itself it you can yourself itself you can recover the records i hope you gotten got the logic like what is the complete process so if you like this video please write please like it and if you have any feedback or any suggestion please write in the comment box